Do you wish that you had more information about the traffic and the people that are coming to your site as well as how to get more of them? Well, in this video, we are going to go through Google Analytics and the top five reports that you should be looking at for 2019 to better understand your traffic and make sure that you can keep it growing. So Google Analytics is a free online software that lets you get more information about the people that are coming to your site and what actions they're taking on your site, like clicking around or purchasing from your site or, or actually leaving your site as well. So they give you a specific tracking code that you can then embed on your site and get this detailed information. Now we're not gonna go specifically in this video on how to set up that tracking code. However, we have already created a video on setting up Google Analytics and embedding that code on your site already. So I will link it below as well as in the info card above. So in this video, I want to go through the top five reports that you need to be paying attention to whenever you are going through your Google Analytics account. So if you log into Google Analytics, the one thing that I really hear from a lot of people is that it's very overwhelming and it can be very true. The dashboard has a ton of information on there, but instead of getting really overwhelmed, you really only need to pay attention to a few key metrics that you can then take to get data-driven decisions that you can make on your website. So we are going to be going through those top five reports in this video, but I do want to say that I have already created a free guide that goes through exactly how to set up the code on your site for this, as well as the five different reports in a little bit more detail. Also some bonus content like how to set up goal funnels, as well as how to actually automate the reports. So I've got that free guide in the description below or in the link below. So make sure to check that out and download it today. Again, it's a 100% free guide. So there's no reason not to check it out. So make sure to download that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the reports. So by looking at these five reports, you're going to really see the overall health of your site and any improvements that could be made on your site to better increase your conversion rate or the traffic or quality of people that are coming to your site already. So the first report that I recommend is the audience overview report. So to get here, you can just click on audience in the left-hand menu in Google Analytics and then the overview tab. And here's where you're gonna see a lot of just overview information about your audience. You're going to see things like your site's traffic, the type of customers on your site of either new versus returning, your bounce rate and your overall average session duration time. So it's a lot of key information that you can take and then make decisions based on, and it gives you a really nice overview of your site overall. The second report that I really recommend checking out is the mobile performance report. So you can get here by clicking on audience, mobile, and then overview. And you want to make sure that your site is really well designed, especially for mobile devices. So a lot of people are using their phones to actually shop now, as well as if you're running any Facebook ads or Instagram ads, people are typically gonna be on their mobile devices for that. So you wanna make sure that you have a really mobile friendly site and that your site looks good on mobile devices. So you are overall gonna see a higher bounce rate on mobile devices just because people are a bit more distracted when they're on their mobile device. However, if your bounce rate is really high here, it may mean that something's actually wrong with your site and it's not that mobile friendly. So make sure to pay attention to that and also make sure to check out your site on your mobile device. The next report that I really recommend checking out is the audience behavior report. So you can get here by going on audience in the left-hand menu, then behavior, and then new versus returning. So having new visitors is a great sign but having returning customers is even better because that means they are more likely to purchase from you. Something to keep in mind here is that you would hopefully see a higher average session duration time with your returning customers because they already know, like, and trust you and they're gonna be on your site longer just shopping around. The next report I recommend checking out is your traffic acquisition report. So this is gonna show you exactly how people are coming to your site and how they're finding you online. 
So very, very important to check out and know how people are finding you. So to get to this report, you're going to click on acquisition and then overview. And you'll see your top traffic refers here and you'll want to start going through that and see you know where are people actually finding you from if you have a lot of people that are coming over from your Instagram profile but you're not really prioritizing Instagram right now then that may be something that you want to look at in terms of prioritizing for your next quarterly goals and your overall marketing strategy the final report that I recommend looking at is your site pages report so you can get to this by clicking on behavior and then site content and then landing page or exit page in your left hand menu. This report's really important because it's going to show you which pages on your site are actually performing best and which ones are making people leave your site the most. So you want to know this information so you can kind of beef up the page that's performing really nicely as well as look at why people may be leaving the pages that are really not performing as well and looking at maybe changing some of the copy or the images on those pages to make it to where people stay on your site instead of leaving your site from these pages. So the best part of all of these reports is that you can actually set them up to send to you automatically. So that means you don't have to go into Google Analytics every time and go through all this information, but you can have it set up to send to you weekly, monthly, however you want it to be, so that you can get this information straight to your inbox and take a look at it there, which of course is gonna save you a lot of time. So we're not going through how to automate these reports in this video, but we do have it in that free guide that I mentioned earlier. So make sure to click the link below and download that free guide today. So I really hope that you found this list of the key reports to be looking at for Google Analytics super helpful. And a key thing to keep in mind is that you don't need to spend a ton of time going through all of this, especially if you automate your reports you should be spending around 15 to 20 minutes per week going through these reports, getting what information you need, and then applying it to your website. You don't need to be spending hours inside of Google Analytics going through every single report. You just need to get the key takeaways to make data-driven decisions on your site. So I would love to hear what you think about this video as well as the report. So make sure to let us know and we would love to hear from you.